Welcome to my channel and let's solve this beautiful exponential equation together. It looks tricky, right? But I'm going to simplify it for you. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin with our solution. So this is what we have. If you look at this, you observe that the 6 to the x power is repeated. So what we just need to do is to factor it out. So we factor 6 to the power of x out. Use it to divide each. It gives you 1 plus. Use this to divide this. It gives you 1. Then use this to divide this. It also gives you 1. And it's divided by. For this, you factor 2 to the x power out. Use this to divide this. It gives you 1. Then use it to divide itself. It gives you 1. And this is equal to 36. And what do you do at this point? So this is going to give us 6 to the x power into, add this, it gives you 3. And it's divided by 2 to the x power. Add this, it gives you 2. And it's equal to 36. And what do we do at this point? What we need to do is, we can rewrite this to be 6 to the x power divided by 2 to the x power. Then multiplied by 3 divided by 2. Remember that this is multiplying. So you can rewrite this to be in this form. You've not changed anything. And this is equal to 36. And what do you do next? Remember quickly, for every a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m is a divided by b to the power of m. So this is going to guide us through on this. So from here, we now have, you see that these two powers are the same, so you apply this. And that will give us 6 divided by 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 on 2, which is equal to 36. And what do you do next? We keep simplifying. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you for choosing to learn to us. If you are still new, hit that subscription button and click on your notification bell. We have a lot for you every day. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share with others. So we keep solving to have. So from here we now have, if you divide this, it gives you 3 to the power of x is multiplied by 3 halves is equal to 36. And what do you do next? We want to remove this. And because it's multiplying, you divide. So we're going to divide both sides by 3 halves. You also do same here. And when you do that, this takes off this. So we are going to now have 3 to the x power is equal to 36. Remember, this is 36 over 1. Then to change division to multiplication, you reciprocate the next fraction. So this goes up and this comes down. So we have 2 third. Now at this point, you can use this. This is 1. This will give us 12. So we keep solving. We have 3 to the x power is equal to 12 times 2 gives us 24. Now at this point, can we express 24 in powers of 3? It's not possible. So we're going to take the log of both sides. So we have log of 3 to the x power is equal to log of 24. Now what do you do? Just quickly remember, each time you have log of a to the x power is x log a. So applying this rule here, from here we are going to now have this to multiply. So it gives us x log 3 is equal to log of 24. And what do you do next? You want to remove this, so you divide. So we're dividing both sides by log 3. Divide this by log 3. And this takes off this. So we now have x is equal to log 24 divided by log of 3. Do you intend to leave it at this point? No, because it's not yet simplified. So let's keep simplifying to have x is equal to log of 24, you know, is the same as 24 is 2 times 12, and 12 is 2 times 6, 6 is 2 times 3. So these are the prime factors of this 24. So in that case, you see that 2 repeated itself 3 times. So it means 24 is the same as 2 cubed multiplied by 3. So we keep simplifying this. This is going to give us, this is divided by log 3. And at this point, you need to quickly remember that for every log of A multiplied by B 
it's always log of A plus log of B. So we are going to apply this logarithm rule on the numerator to help us to solve. Let's do that together. So we now have X is equal to log 2 cubed multiplication turns to addition. So we have plus log 3 divided by log 3. You are free to use this to divide each numerators. So we now have X is equal to log of 2 cubed divided by log of 3 plus log of 3 divided by log of 3. And what do you do next? Remember, the power of the log becomes the coefficient. So we have x is equal to 2 log 2 divided by log 3 plus log 3 divided by log 3. And what do you do at this point? You see that these two are on the same, so they divide itself to give us 1. So we have it as x is equal to 2 log 2 divided by log 3 plus 1. Now keep solving we have. So from here we now have, please let's correct this. You see the power here is 3 and not 2. So we write 2, we write 3 here. So here should be 3 and here should also be 3. So this is the correct thing. So from here we now remember that for each time we have log A divided by log B, it's always log A base B. So if you apply it finally here, you now have x is equal to 3 log 2 base 3 add 1. So this gives us the value of x. Now we're going to plug this x value on the left side to see if it gives us back 36. Let's do that together. To verify, from the left side, this is what we have. 6 to the x power plus 6 to the x power plus this divided by 2 to the x power plus this. We want to know if when we put the x value, will it be equal to 36? Now, remember, for simplifying this, we got 3 to the power of x, which is equal to 24. For simplifying this, this is what we got. So here now, we are going to use this equation to plug this x value. And if we do that, we are going to now have 3 to the power of 3. Our x is this. So we have 3 log 2 base 3 plus 1. Would this be equal to 24? So what do you do now? Remember that for each time you have a to the power of m plus n is a to the power of m. Addition turns to multiplication. So this is going to guide us at the left side. So if you apply this, we are going to have 3 to the power of 3 log 2 base 3. Addition turns to multiplication. So we have 3 to the power of 1. With this to be equal to 24. So what do you do? Remember the coefficient of the log is the power. So this is 3 to the power of log of 2 to the power of 3 base 3. And 3 to the power of 1 is 3. With this still be equal to 24. So we skip simplifying. We also need to remember for every time we have a to the power of log b base a, it's always equal to b. Provided these two, you see that these two bases are the same. And when you look at this, you see that these two are the same. So it's going to give us this number, which is 2 cubed. And this is to be multiplied by 3. So what do you do? 2 cubed is 2 multiplied 3 times multiplied by 3. And when you multiply this, it gives you 8. And 8 times 3 gives us 24. And that is what we have here. And if this gave us 24, it also means that the value of x is the same for substituting it at the left side also gives us 36 because the two equations we stated are the same. So in that case, we can now conclude that this value of x we got as 3 log 2 base 3 plus 1 is absolutely correct. And I hope you really learned something. I'll also be curious to see your own methods. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this with others. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. Thank you for choosing to learn trials, And I hope to see you in my next class. Bye.